Hi guys! So today I am talking about my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, all these palettes are bigger palettes. They have like at least eight colors, I think. I'm not doing like quads or anything like that or anything smaller. These are just bigger palettes because there are a lot of drugstore palettes out there and some are awful and some of them are like hidden gems and they're really really good. So I just want to talk about my, I think I have, I think I have like five or six. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I'm not doing these in any particular order. They're just all really, really, really good. Alright, let's start with my probably most used and oldest one. I think I've probably gone through two of these at this point because my first one was really old so I had to get a new one. So I should have got a new one before this video. But, you know, it really shows that I have put this in the ringer. It is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. Yes, I know. It is really bad. But this is what it looks like. The colors in here are just amazing. Like, I just cannot believe this is a drugstore palette. It is, especially that it's Wet n Wild because it's probably one of the cheapest brands at the drugstore. So that alone, this thing was like probably $5 when I bought it. It's just crazy. So yeah, I have worn this palette so many times. But yeah, this is just a really, really nice palette. Really pretty shimmery shades. The only problem is that it doesn't have any mattes in it. Um, but I can still like bring this if I'm trying to do like really quick makeup or like traveling or something. And I can still make it work. They just blend really, really nicely. So I can throw this second to darkest brown all over the lid and just blend it out. And it's a really pretty eye look just with that. And this was obviously my favorite one. It's just a really pretty color. And I've tried the green ones a couple times, but obviously the browns are my favorite. So if you don't have this yet, definitely, definitely give this a try. It is so good. All right, so other ones that I've had for a long time and love. This one is from e.l.f. and it is the Prism palette. Oh yeah, these have six colors, not eight. I was thinking they had more. But, but yeah, the present palettes, even with, with only six colors, it is still a beautiful, beautiful palette. I've used this a ton, as you can tell. It has this really pretty coppery color and like some really nice browns. Again, this only has shimmers, so you'd have to, if you really like matte, like crease colors, you'd have to find another one. But for 10 bucks, this is such a good palette, such good quality. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. They blend so nicely. They last all day on your eyes. I mean, I know they have other Prism palettes, but this is the Naked one, and it's my favorite. The other ones are like brighter colors, which I know I probably won't use. But yeah, this one I use all the time. I love, love, love this palette. All right, another e.l.f. palette I have is, it looks the same packaging as the Prism. It is the Mad for Matte palette, though. So as you can see, it has a ton of all matte colors. So these two together, the Prism plus this, perfect. If you don't have like, a lot of room in a makeup bag or something, you don't want to bring like, a big palette, you can bring both of these because they're really small. And they're like a sturdy packaging, so you wouldn't have to like worry about it breaking. So when I travel, I always bring those too because I don't have to worry about like my $50 eyeshadow palettes breaking. I would be too bummed about these because they are so affordable. So again, yeah, this one has all browns, a couple like cooler tone ones over here, which is nice. And then some nice light shades and a nice transition shade. It's just a really pretty palette. If you like matte eyeshadows, definitely give this one a try. It is so nice. All right, this one is my favorite matte eyeshadow palette. Probably my favorite, not even just from drugstore. As you can see, it's well loved. This is the Sony Kashuk. This one is the Eye on Neutral Matte. It's the number two. This was super popular, like everyone was talking about it on YouTube a while ago, and for good reason. It is so good. It has a ton of colors in there, and again, it has a couple uh, more cool toned ones up here, like, and even a black, which is nice. A lot of palettes don't come with like a matte black, and yeah, it just has some nice transition shades, lighter shades. It is just a perfect, perfect palette. Has such high quality shadows, they blend so nicely, they last all day. It's just a beautiful palette. It is like it is like $20 though, so it is up there when you could get the matte for matte palette for $10 cheaper. But yeah, I just think this is such a great, great palette and you can find it at Target. So yes, love this. Alright, the last two I'm going to talk about are um, 
the same brand, but they're just two different palettes. So these are the CoverGirl True and Naked palettes. These are newer and out of all like the newer palettes that have been coming out, like the L'Oreal, the Maybelline, these are definitely the best. They are so nice and I'm not really a big CoverGirl fan usually. I really honestly don't have much from the brand. I used to when I was younger. It was like all I used, like their foundation and their powder, all I used. But yeah, it's just not my favorite drugstore brand, but these are incredible. They are so, so good. I think they're probably like a $12 range, but this one is the Golden. This one's my favorite one. It has, again, warm colors and some kind of like greenish ones too in there. As you can see, it's gold. Um, but I just think it's a perfect palette, especially because it has a matte crease shade right there which is perfect and a matte and a shimmer highlight shade because some people don't like shimmery highlights and some people don't like matte highlights so I think it's perfect that they did that and then you can have like a deeper one to deepen things up and just a couple like lid shades it is just perfect you can do a per an entire look with this palette if you like warm shimmery bronzy colors this is so nice and it's just such good quality for being cover girl again yeah, these are so, so, so good. And I only have two of them. I think I think they have like three or four, um, but these are the two that I like the most. So yeah, gold is my favorite. And this one's the nude one. I like it too. It's really nice. Um, but I know they were comparing it to the Naked palettes, obviously, because it's um, true Naked, and they were like saying, like, compare it to a $50 eyeshadow palette. So obviously they're talking about the Naked palettes. Um, so this one I think would be more like the three maybe because it has like more pinky tones right here. Uh, but it's very similar to the Golden's one. It has the transition shade and the lighter um, highlighting shades and then the deeper ones. This one just has a black. I think that's black. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. It's a black. Um, the shimmery shades are a little nicer than the matte, but it's still really nice quality all the way around. The mattes are really nice too. So yeah, I've got a ton of use out of both of these. I think they're so nice. All right, so those are my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes. If there's one that I didn't mention that you love, please let me know down below. I might not have tried it yet. Um, but yeah, these are just ones I've used again and again and again, not just like I bought it, used it once. I've used these so many times. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.